I be jumped, I be dumped, I be slumped on the curb, still dipping around the corner, screaming, fuck what you heard. Then my back had a lack in my arm. Yo, what's up guys, Tesco Gaming here, and today I'm showing you how you can add a shockwave in Blender. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to press F12 on your keyboard to render. Okay, by the way, you need to go to the render settings and under film, click transparent. Then you want to find the frame that the drop beats. For example, let's say, oops, let's say frame 40. Okay, uh, it's just an example. I don't have a song, but you should have one, and yeah. Let's say the frame, the beat drops at 40. Press F12. Then we will add the shockwave at 40. So after you have rendered it, you go up here, beside, um, under default, click compositing. Then you want to click use nodes. You want to hover your mouse over down here, and you want to press F12 again. That way you will see how it is. Now, you want to add the shockwave. So, you want to add input image. Click open, and then you need to find your shockwave. This one looks promising. This is one... I always use so you wanna add color and you wanna have a actually no you want a you you should have a background so let's just duplicate this and open a random picture example a background yeah that works I think it's too big, but, but okay. So you want to add color alpha over. And you want to hook your background up to it. Mm, be sure to have the background up. And yeah. So you want to make the background. Like not really there much. So you can either have it very low or at zero I'm going to have it at zero for this example and you want to go to color and then RGB curves and then you want to color your background to whatever you want like this is poorly made okay yeah at zero that works at, at as value so you want to click add then color and mix hook it up right there you want to change it from mix to lighten now hook your shockwave into it there we go the shockwave is behind and we want it to start at frame 40 so down here start frame 40 and change the frame to like 150 and uh, depends on how long your the shockwave is I'm sorry for breathe, breathing in, into the microphone so sorry now we want to change the color of it so you know add color let's say RGB curves we want it green. Actually, let me go to frame. To that frame. Something, I don't know. So you can see the shockwave. Then you want to mess around with this until you find the color you want. Obviously, this, this isn't good, but it's just an example. Now we have a green shockwave behind a green text on a background. That's ugly. Say point one on this background, 
so you can see yeah you can see the background and the shockwave on, on top of it you can do some more to change the color of the background but this isn't a tutorial for that so once you do that you might want to add a add filter glare change it from streaks to fog glow and put the threshold down to zero then put the size down to seven now it's the crucial part add color hue saturation value be sure to be at frame 40 or whatever frame you want the shockwave to start at then you want to hover your mouse over, over the value and click I then you want to jump one frame before that to 39 then you want to click this enter 0 and enter then press I again sorry so what that will do is that uh, it won't show up until it's about to explode so yeah that's basically how you add a shockwave I'm sorry for breathing into the, into the microphone yeah uh, actually there's another way I'm going to explain it right now be right back Okay, I'm back and now we're going to add it the other way. So you can go first you need to go into the user preferences down here and you wanna find user preferences and go to add-ons. Up here search for images and import images as planes. Check that. Then save user settings and then go back to three three D view. So now you want to add another scene. So you want to click this plus icon up here, click new, then go back to the first scene. Then right click the camera and then hold shift and right click the cube or if you have a cube of course. Um, you can just do the camera, it works too. But if you have a cube or something you have it parented to, take that as well. So you want to press Control, L, and objects to scene, scene 001. Now, let's head to frame 40 because that's where it begins, right? So, you wanna press Shift, A, and then Mesh, and then Images as Planes. And then you want to find your shockwave then R X 90 or you can go to the side and on the X rotation enter 90 and once that once that's done scale it up so it fits the camera I'll, a bit more than the camera now you wanna press I and then press scaling Mm, okay, now you want to go to the material section and under shading click shadeless and yeah then we'll go to the texture texture tab then here you click match movie length and then start so now you can go to this sphere right here and click material now you can see it will explode at frame 40 so in other words if the camera moves the shock wave will have like a 3D effect. That's cool, huh? Okay. So 
You wanna maybe skate it a bit more. Depends how much your camera moves. A bit more. I and then scaling. Then go to the frame before that. And S and 0. I scaling. And you wanna go to the frame where it stops. Then you wanna press I. Scaling. Go one frame forward. S. Zero. Enter. I. Scaling. Then you just go into the compositor again. You might wanna render this. Render image. Now go to the first scene and then compositing. So instead of having this you can actually just skip this background so you can delete this and by pressing it and clicking X and hooking this up there again and then press this and then X add input render layer then scene Scene double one. Hook it up there. There we go. So that's how you add a shockwave in Blender. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Um, please tell me if you have some problems and if this tutorial was helpful and if you want to see more tutorials in the future. So peace out, guys, and keep making intros. I get. Bye.